Sending money to someone in another currency should be easy and affordable. It shouldn't be complicated, but today it still is. Local banks have a hard time servicing their clients when they need to send money overseas. Take this example. Joe, who is in Italy, has Euro and wants to send 10,000 Mexican pesos to Susan's bank account in Mexico City. It's a simple request, but getting it done triggers a lot of steps. Joe accesses his local banking app, but finds out he needs to go to the branch or call the bank to do a cross-border transfer. He goes to the branch, where the cashier contacts the bank's main office, passes all the information about where Joe wants to send the money to, and is told Joe needs to pay 450 euro to have the 10,000 Mexican pesos sent to Susan. Joe checks the quotes on his phone and sees that other money transfer services would quote 400 euro for the same amount of Mexican pesos. But Joe is in a hurry. He's not sure about money transfer apps, so he tells the cashier he wants to go ahead anyway. The Italian bank performs all the know your customer, anti-money laundering and fraud checks. And then Joe's bank debits 450 euro from his account. The main office asks its trading desk to access the FX market and agrees 400 euro for the 10,000 Mexican pesos with its FX counterparty. The FX transaction needs to be confirmed, matched, and payments need to be done. The Italian bank's HQ needs to ask its FX counterpart to deposit the Mexican pesos in the Mexican Vostro account they hold at Bank D. All the payments need to be confirmed and matched, again. Joe's bank now instructs Bank D to send the Mexican pesos to Bank E, which holds the Mexican Peso Vostro account for Susan's Bank in Mexico. All these intermediaries need to confirm and match that all the payments happened, carry on AML and KYC checks, check for fraud, file regulatory reports, and finally, the money can hit Susan's account. So no wonder it is expensive for Joe to use the local bank. All these steps require a huge amount of infrastructure, from systems to manual processes, making it very expensive and cumbersome for the Italian local bank to service its clients. What if there was a way to make it simple for the local bank? With FusionFabric.Cloud, there is. Imagine if Joe could open his banking app and have access to a service to make cross-border payments so he can send the 10,000 Mexican pesos to Susan. This service is provided by a large multinational bank that connects to the local bank app using FusionFabric.Cloud. The large multinational bank gets the request electronically from the app and can use fintechs on the FusionFabric.Cloud platform to take care of matching, confirmations, KYC, AML, and fraud. Joe gets a quote, which is very competitive. He clicks send, gets a confirmation, and the app instructs the Italian bank to debit Joe's account and send the euros to the large multinational bank, which sends the 10,000 Mexican pesos to Susan while taking care of all the FX workflows and processes. Done. Joe can make his transfer conveniently and affordably. The Italian bank can now offer quick and efficient services to its clients with minimal to no investment in infrastructure at a competitive price with very quick time to market. No more endless confirmations, matching payments and other processes. No more operations overhead. The large multinational bank can leverage its infrastructure to offer the service to other banks in a scalable and easy way, growing its business. And last but not least, Susan is happy she got her 10,000 Mexican pesos quickly. Simple. Cross-border payments as a service is just one example of how FusionFabric.Cloud can make banking as a service real. Easy, open, no more complexity.